Hi you guys, I am here today with a much anticipated video. So I get asked a lot about my planners. I have a bunch of them. I'm going to show you a lot of different planners today. Um, just some different styles, but the one I've been using is the one that I made. And we're definitely going to go through this um, in detail. And this video is probably going to be a little bit longer than, you know, uh, some videos. But I do tend to make long videos. I don't mean to, but... Um, today I'm going to be going over that. Um, I'm going to kind of show you how it works for me and then later I will kind of show you the office in a basket that kind of goes with this book and that will probably be up um, in like a week. I'll get it up really soon. But um, in a way I kind of call this like my smash book planner but in a way it's not. Um, yeah. My other one was like a really smash book planner um, because I would, you know, take like pictures and movie stubs and put it in my planner. I still do that some, just not as much. So, um, you know, there's different things that work for different people. And, you know, I like planners in all different varieties. I like daytime planners. I like file faxes. I like homemade planners. Um, I like, you know, just the like plan ahead calendars. I like calendars um, and I use them all. Um, I have two project management books that I'm working on that I will do um, later um, a video on um, and show you how I handle those. Um, but mainly this is to show you how I set up my planner, what things I use in it, um, how it is effective for me and how it motivates me to stay busy and keep on task and yeah I feel very fortunate that um, they work for me because you know I've been a planner girl for a long time um, I used them in elementary school middle school high school college my home life and you know I've recorded all kinds of stuff some of my um, planners have been journals and planners some just planners you know it's been different things for different years um, and I'm excited to show you so let's first look at some different styles of planners that I have but the main one I'm going to be going over is this one but I will show you some other ones that I do like so keep watching and I'll show you what those look like the first thing I want to share with you guys is I have been through a lot of planners. Now, I just grabbed some random ones. I have actually many more. I have my file facts out in the garage, but I didn't want to go through digging through a lot of my boxes to get to them, um, other planners. But these were the ones that I could access easily. I just wanted to kind of do a very quick highlight on the planners I've used throughout the years. In addition to my file faxes, I've used these um, daytime timers. I think that's what they're called. Is that what they're called? I don't remember. I think they're the day timer planners. I have two. I have the pink and the turquoise. That is the one that I showed in my last video. It's still all organized up, um, but I switched. Different years, I've used different things. Here's one from 2011 that I've kept, um, you know, throughout the years. I keep all of my notebooks and all my planners. Here's 2012 that I've used. These kind of planners work well for me too. Here's one from 2011 and 2012 too that I like. I like the size of this planner. This is a Mead planner. So you've got lots of room to write. You've got the times over here, which I was talking um, in, that I will show in my other video that I miss. I miss this time right here, but whatever. It has different months. It has places for notes. And I do like this one. Um, these are just smaller versions of that. I do like these books, too. These are small books that I've used throughout the years. Um, and they're great. They're easy to put in a purse. But I still like a little more room than that. There's more books that I've used. These are more like journal books. This is a journal book. I kept that butterfly. This is from 2008. This is a journal. And um, my grandfather died in 2008. My grandmother died. Um, so that journal has a lot of um, feelings in it. Here is another. This was a blog book that I used for some time. And you can just tell because it has a picture of me and Scott. Here's another book I've used. This one is dirty, but it's really a good book. Now, when I was selling cars, it was kind of hard to walk around with my purse. 
um, all over the lot. So I ended up buying this at that time. It has handles. This is a day one. It zips, and I've used this many times over the years. It's got a pocket here and a zip here. All of these planners are wonderful planners, or I wouldn't have bought them. Um, but it just goes to show you, you can use whatever you like. Just find a system that you like so you stay consistent with it, which is one of the big tips that I have for everybody. you got to make time to plan. And um, I'll go more through that with my other... Uh, planner that I'm about to show you in just one second but find a planner that you like that you will use um, and that you um, enjoy my other one is upstairs which is very similar to the one I'm using now which is this one and we're about to go look inside of it so stay tuned and keep watching okay so I'm going to explain my new planner to you but I first want to look at my old one because um, this will explain what, how this one is set up and why I set it up this way. So I had this one and I really wanted a book where I could, um, you know, have all my to-do list, my calendar, everything in one spot. So I got this book put together. I'm trying to find the calendar in here or one of them anyway. Come on calendar, where are you? Right there. So I added calendars to it. It wasn't color coded. I basically used it kind of like a smash book. I added things. I journaled at the bottom. Had my to-do list and things I needed to do um, listed at the top. Um, it was pretty messy. Added different things to it. Um, you know, I used it and I used it well. I, you know, it did help at the time. But it really wasn't that organized. You can see I added receipts, paint swatches, um... I added Romeo's um, rabies tag. I had just had, you know, I just used this a lot. In the back, there was blog notes. And while I liked the style of planning, I just didn't like the disorganization within the book. So, here is the planner that I recently set up. Now, I haven't been using this long, and you're only going to see, you know, how I've got it set up in like one month and what I've already done to it. Um, I will have um, in part two the different products I use um, within the book and I'll explain more of that in part two. But I just bought this red book. It's, you know, I think I found it at Walmart for like $15. I bought the sticker. It's not held up too well, but it's still on there. It's happily ever after. Um, I have this Martha Stewart binder holder. It's just a, an elastic strap that holds the book together. I, I put Fall and Winter right here, 2013, just to identify the book. But when I'm done with the book, I will write it on the side and file this book away. So generally, I like organizers set up like this to only be for about six months at a time. Um, I believe this one is five months. I started at one month late, and I want to kind of go through how I have it set up. So, over here on the side tabs, I have the months. So, I have August, September, October, November, and December. So, that is the months right there. And I don't have the tabs too far out because, you know, I don't want them to get messed up. Sorry, focus. I don't want them to get messed up if, you know, I have to throw this in a bag or something. So, I didn't want them sticking out too far. And then on the top, I have more tabs. I have shopping. It's kind of hard to see because I don't have them all um, real high. So, there's shopping. There's household. Important information. Here is the blog and YouTube. Now the blog and YouTube have corresponding tabs. So in the blog area I have a tab for movies. I keep movies that I've watched and want to review in this area. I have beauty items that I bought and want to review in this area. I have cooking items that I want to make right here or recipes married life post sponsor information and then more blog ideas back here under the YouTube oh and there's house party 
House Party is a organization I'm with. I'll explain more about these tags in a minute. Is YouTube. So in YouTube, there's YouTube ideas and glamour gossip ideas because those are two different channels. So on back, I have more tabs. I have projects, 2004 plans, Scott and Jackson, a tab for pets, and a tab for miscellaneous stuff. So when you open the book up, I have an envelope that I just glued in. Um, let me kind of zoom in for you. Um, I have an envelope that I just glued in. It holds random things. I had some mail I wasn't able to get. I added these cute owl stickers just because I love owls. I really do. I think they're adorable. Um, and I just like them. Um, I have this real sticky post-it note down here at the bottom. And a clip. Um, because these come in handy. I use them all the time. So I just keep it right there until I need it somewhere else. So I kind of keep the month past grouped. So this would be all of August right here. This whole part. And what I did, we're going to have to turn it in two different ways. Let me just kind of zoom in a little more. I cut this out of a bill organizer. I just taped it in with some of my um, smash book tape. So it really holds well. And I keep bills and receipts that I need to file in this area. I also keep a list of upcoming bills and some of the expenses that I, you know, actually spent that month. On the following page for the month, I've added these calendars. They are color-coded. So let me kind of explain the color coding um, for you. Um, all the birthdays and important days have the day in black with like a little blue highlight around it. I'm trying to get to it a little better and show you. Um, anything that has to do with me or Scott is in green. And so these are things going on with Scott. Scott working late, Scott taking off work, Scott um, golf game in the afternoon, Blue is any kind of regular appointment. A lot of kids' stuff is in blue. The first day of school, Zane's first day of school, that was Brittany's actually, uh, Meet Jackson's teacher, first day of school, fall pictures, that kind of stuff. Anything in pink is to do with, like, family. So, Laura and Jared coming to visit, um, AM basketball game, zoo day that we didn't make, Laura and Jared leaving, Marjorie and Keith coming to visit, that kind of stuff is in pink. Now, anything set in stone within my blog, I also add it to this calendar. This calendar overall, um, I go to, for any type of appointment, I always go to this part first. This is an overview. This is a roadmap of what my month is going to be. So it's important that I keep this area very organized and keep it updated regularly. So um, a lot of times in... Anything in stone on YouTube or my blog is going to be done in orange. Um, really important stuff is done in red, but I mainly put that in these pages that I'll show you in just a minute. And then, you know, in pencil, I start mapping out what actual post um, I'm going to have on my blog or YouTube channel. I keep these in pencil because I like to be able to erase them um, and move them if I don't get it done. So, I, unless it's really set in stone, it's going to remain in pencil. Then, on the days, I give a full day to each day except Saturday and Sunday. Let me zoom out now so you can really see. Um, I do kind of still do it like, um, you know, a scrapbook or a smash book. I add things to it sometimes. These are tickets when um, Jackson and Scott went to a movie. Um, these are like bullet points that are important that I definitely want to get done in that day. This one, um, you know, that are important that I need to remember. This is Scott and Jackson's day. I knew I really wanted to watch the bedding. 
um, here I knew I wanted to go to Sam's and that I wanted to vlog and those were important days. Now sometimes my days are not full. I'm going to try to get to a busy page so I can show you the breakdown. Here's a good breakdown of a weekend. I divided the page in half. I have Saturday on this side, Sunday on this side. So this was our Monopoly game night. I have a couple tattoos here actually. And then Sunday I have some notes that um, you know I was going to take out but didn't and left them in. Um, usually same goes with color coding. Green for family events. Orange for blog. I do do household also in pencil. And generally, let me try to get to a really good page to explain it out. I make my to-do list on this side. So everything I really want to get done that day, I make on this side. On this side over here, um, I have appointments, um, important notes, and again, my bullet points are at the bottom of things I really want to accomplish. These are really sticky and you can move them page to page. Sometimes I do that, but usually I just leave them because I, you know, they're real cheap. You can get a whole bunch of them for next to nothing. So I just leave them, but you can transfer them to another page. Now up here, um, you will see important notes here um, in red. So at the top, I have important things in red that I don't want to miss. You can see the blog notes and, and YouTube notes in orange. This is like family stuff because it's in pink. It says drop Jackson off at school. Lord and Jared um, heading to the dealership in the AM and leaving. You can see I still doodle some. Um, sometimes I add post-it notes and um, just for extra room. Um, I got very excited on this day and added a whole bunch of um, pet paws because Gabby's kittens were born. Now, sometimes there's a private note that I do want to add to this book, and what I do is just add it on a post-it, fold it up, put a little sticker on it, and I always put the date on the outside. I did hand write the dates in, and that was really only because I couldn't find my date stamp. I had to go buy another one. Here is a day that I did a lot at home. I also worked on the blog, and I wrote that in pencil, um, I guess because I just did. Um, this was like an, uh, just a note, and I, didn't, I wrote it in blue because it was kind of like an appointment with his teacher. You can see that I've made some notes, and that on this day, I actually moved this cleaning stuff to Friday, so I just made that note. Um, and this is how I do my daily calendar. Um, again, things to do over here. Over here is more blog, household, or um, notes. I had a shopping list here. I, it grew, so I just um, left it in here, but this is how I do it. Um, I have these little sheets. I'll show you them in a minute. I got them from a different planner. I just added in with one of those little stickers. It has shop on it. These are more important things and they are how they are color coded again green for household or stuff um, and um, stuff to do with me and Scott it also has um, orange for blog it has pink for family stuff this is oops focus this is family stuff so it's in pink in the sticker um, green is more household stuff and stuff to do with me and Scott again. So I really only use those three colors. Um, and green has more to do with home life. Orange is vlog life. Pink is family life. And I also put mine and Scott's appointments under green too. Um, again, here's September. So I have some of my bills listed out. I have a couple of my current bills. I have the month. So again, you can see for September, which is relatively filling up pretty fast. We have imp some important days. Um, no school for Jackson on the 2nd, which is already passed. I'm already starting to plan out the YouTube and the blog stuff in the pencils. The, the set in stone YouTube stuff and blog stuff, again, is in the orange. Family in pink. Um, and more um, vlog stuff in orange. So that's the way it goes for the um, 
monthly and daily part of this book. Now, these are just smash it um, labels that you can, you know, find anywhere, and I'll link those below, and I'll tell more about these um, products that I've used in part two, um, but I, I only did from August to December. So, in December, as you can see, in December, there's November and December, um, you will, I will have to get a new calendar starting January. I thought that was the perfect time, and that one I'll do for six months. And then, we come up here to shopping. So, the first label here is shopping. And this, I just, let me sh show you. I just made, like, um, pockets out of some really cute paper. And I keep these little shopping lists that you can tear off and just um, take with you. As you saw, I you know, taped it in my book till I had it done, but I actually made a bigger one that day. On this side, I keep coupons, so these are some coupons and some stuff that, you know, I don't want to forget to use. I also just kind of had these in here because I just got those coupons, and I just kind of keep that in the shopping area. There is room for some notes in the shopping area, I just haven't used it yet. The next item you come to, or the next label, is household. Here I kind of keep my list of what I like to do by day, and I will kind of go over that in a different video and like my schedules. Then I have my cleaning schedule, which really does help me stay on task just to see it. Um, I like having it written down because I don't have to put a lot of thought into it. I can flip right here, know what I'm wanting to work on, and I will um, accomplish more by being able to see that. Here is important info, and what I did, I'm covering this up, I just took my, my part of my other organizer that had my card list with people's name and addresses um, on it, um, and um, just added it right here. I didn't want to have to write it all over, so I just took it and taped it in, and I just have it covered up for privacy. Under important info, I also have like my passwords to some of my important accounts. They're hidden, obviously. And I have more room because, again, this is a new book. And then, under blog, at the next label, um, I have kind of my blog um, outlook for the week and posts that I generally normally always do. So, I have that listed. And then, these separate divider tags list different sections. So, let me move the camera, sorry. Movies, beauty, cooking, married life, and um, sponsors. I also have a house party um, label. And this is where the ideas generally start, right here. These are just um, quick notes that I make. And again, this is not filled up, so remember this. I still have a lot more to go. Um, there we go. These are movies I've seen that I want to review, and I just keep a list here. And then beauty is items that I also want to review. Cooking or recipes I want to try. I have many more to add to this. Married life is married life posts that, you know, I want to work on. Then I have a page for my sponsors, and um, that kind of keeps helps me keep track of who's doing what on my blog, sponsor-wise. And then there's more room, um, just for extra notes. Zoom back out a little bit, kind of zooming in and zooming out on you. These are just extra room for extra notes. And then here is blog ideas. Again, this is where I just kind of start brainstorming. Um, notes of things I want to work on. So these are just blog notes, and that will fill up really fast. It, it fills up fast. Um, I have another book that I will show you that has more to do with the blog. Um, so these pages are just to kind of work on. Then I have a label for house party, and that's where I keep house party notes. Um, I had the Monopoly Unleashed party last time. And then the next label is YouTube. So on YouTube, I have my main channel, and that's just random notes that I take that I have projects I want to start, um, 
videos I want to make. Um, and I just usually get my first thoughts down in this book. Just my first thoughts because I have another book, two other books actually, um, that help with this more. I have a tab for my Glam Gossip channel, which I vlog a lot on and some notes for that. And then we move on to the other links, or the other links, the other tabs. This one is Projects. We got 2014 Plan, Scott and Jackson, Pets, and we also have one for Miscellaneous. So, under Projects, quick notes of things that I want to accomplish. Nothing really flushed out, nothing really in detail, just quick notes. 2014 plans. I have like birthdays here right now and you know more stuff. This will actually hold the items that I want to add in the next calendar. Any notes I want to put in January's calendar will go in this area which I'm sure will fill up. This is about Scott and Jackson. I have like the school shopping list I needed. Um, his schedule at school. This is prescriptions that we filled for Jackson so far. And that area will fill up also for Scott. Pets, um, I don't have much in yet. I have another book for this also, but this is just some quick notes. This is about Gabby going into labor, which kittens were born when. I'll be adding more to this as time goes on. Then I have a tab for just miscellaneous stuff. And this just holds right now some of my health stuff. Um... This will hold where I, you know, the dates I get um, prescriptions, um, monthly um, notes to myself, um, personal um, things such as, you know, my period. Just notes about me will go on the very last page. In the back, I've used some of the Smash It tape and taped in two things. I taped in this little um, pocket and it just holds random things. And then this zipper file. That holds those little stickers I was talking about, some post-its, and some um, paper clips. Now, you know, I'm, gen I'm mostly at home, so I have my office in a basket that I tend to use more than anything. But I like having these here, so if I do grab the book and take off, I do have, you know, some of the essential things that I use in the book. So, that planner is um, what I've been using. I also use this magnet. Um, again, I'll, I'll go over this stuff more um, whenever um, I put part two up. But I, I use a magnet um, clip because they're so nice and so handy. They just hold those pages really well. Um, but this book has worked out really well for me so far. I like that um, I write most of my... Um, to-do list in pencil on the right side. This is more blog, um, dinner ideas. Um, I usually menu plan at the beginning of the week. I haven't done this for this week, but you can see taco for dinner here. Um, I try to figure out what I'm having for dinner. Smoked sausage. I add that to this side also. Notes about family in, in about me and my husband in green. Important info in red. Um, just regular appointment info in um, blue and, you know, notes in blue too. Um, household stuff in pencil normally. I did write it in pen right here. YouTube and blog stuff in orange and family stuff in pink. And um, I wrote, I wrote in pink here. This was about Gabby because um, she's family and I was so excited she had kittens. I wrote that in pink. Um, again, the corresponding... Stickers go for family, vlog, um, household stuff in green, and also appointments for Scott and I in green. Um, this really works well for me. I have areas for notes at the back of the month. Um, red, important, as you can see there. And some days are more busy than others. So you're going to see lot days where there's lots to do. And then there's going to be other days where I don't do as much. And, you know, it doesn't really matter um, because it all keeps me organized. This book I actually love a lot. I love everything about it. These um, little tabs make it so easy. You got the smash it tags and these are just the post-it tabs. And you can move them around if you want to. They're, you know, you can move these. The smash it ones have to be glued in. And um, can, 
combined with my other two books, this works really nice. So I'm going to um, get part two done. I hope you've enjoyed this look. One of the things that I was going to tell you I miss, and I don't know if this will make a difference in my next calendar. It might. I miss the, the time over here because I really like organizing my day by time. So, you know, morning stuff, afternoon stuff, evening stuff is how I'm doing it now. I wish it had the time over here, but I'm not going to, like, write it in on every page. But that is something I miss, um, you know, that a lot of the daytime planners and even some of the mead planners have is the times over here. So I do miss that. Um, I still add stuff in, you know, when I want. I do have like a little area of bills like here I wanted to be paid. It's just a post-it note that I fold over to keep private. I tape, you know, lots of little, I have baseball tickets here. Um, I do have some like, you know, memorable things in here also. Um, and I add little notes just to stand out and make me remember something important. And that's generally what these are for, too. It's like, make sure you that know what is going on with these. Because, you know, one of the things that, you know, I really want to talk to you about is actually taking time to work in this book. In this book, you know, I stay organized. I'm sorry for saying you know so much. Um, I try to stay organized really well. And in order to do that... I have to make time to sit down and work on it. So almost every morning I get it out, I go through everything, not almost every morning. I take it out and I go through the week, I add what I need to add, I move what I need to move, and that's why I love using it for pencil. I hate scribbling stuff out in my calendar, it really actually upsets me. So I, um, I love writing in pencil for that reason alone. Um, I also think that, um, sitting side time just to focus on your to-do list, um, because that really helps keep people organized. It keeps a game plan going. And if I, you know, I don't take this with me everywhere I go, like to the grocery store. Sometimes I do. A lot of times I do not. There we go. Focus again. But I never go anywhere overnight without it. Um, I don't work I, outside the home, so I don't really have to carry this with me. But if I did work, I would find, you know, a bag or I'd just carry it with me every day probably to work. Um, because I work on it a lot. And I want to be organized. I want to be able to know what's going on with my day without, you know, having a scrambled brain. It's not easy for me to stay organized. I forget so much stuff. And this book really helps. Um, I still love the daytimers and I love my file of facts. I love that too, but I like the surface area, the size of these books and, um, you know, a big daytimer like this has so many sections and, um, I do like those books, but I tend to use my, the ones I make better than the ones that I buy, um, because they're more crafted just for me and by me. Um, I really work hard at trying to keep life organized through this book. Um, I make little notes, um, that I can take with me too. So, like this zoo trip, this was a list of things to do. I didn't go to the zoo, but I left it here to show you. Um, I take, I write my list down and add them to my page when I'm planning. And then when I need to go somewhere, I can just take this off. Put it on the shopping cart, um, stick it right to it, or put it on another little notebook in my purse and pull it out while I'm in the store. Um, a lot of times I will tape in, let me get to it, these little um, grocery lists that, um, you know, I tape into the back of the week and I work on it during the week and then I just take it with me. And, you know, I just hold them in with one of those little um, stickers. But I really like how this is set up for me. And, you know, you might have to really think about what categories you need your book to be set up in. If you need them to be in, you know, shopping, household, um, important information. Of course, I'm going to have one for the blog and YouTube. And then the subcategories over here. And, um, and then more back here that is important um, 
and these will be would be geared towards your life um, if you're making a planner or even setting up your file effects you know you need to make these in conjunction with what you have going on you might even have a work tab that has some of your important you know work information pets are important to me I definitely wanted a tab for 2014 plans um, because I want to um, have an area where if I need to um, add stuff that needs to go into the other book there's a spot for that there's calendars um, area and it just works out really well for me so I hope you've enjoyed this I'm gonna get part two planned and part two will focus more on my project plan book and my other blog and YouTube book and the supplies I use so stay tuned for that it will be coming up very soon I hope you have a beautiful evening I'll talk to you guys um, soon leave your thoughts comments below thumbs up if you like the video and you can always leave me a comment below and check out my blog post um, that goes with this at kjaggers.com for more pictures and info talk to you guys real later bye bye talk to you guys later bye bye so you saw how it works for me and how it motivates me and how it keeps me you know clear-headed if my journal is a mess or I'm not recording I'm not I'm not right um, if my notes and everything is a jumbled mess so is my brain and you know I'm a big person on making lists and keeping organized so I would love to hear from you what you think about the planner how you like to use planners what kind of planner is your favorite do you use a daily um, planner do list really help you do you stick to the task that you need to get done with the list you know there's all kinds of questions I would love you guys to answer um, you can leave the um, answers below you can um, just leave me a comment um, on my blog over at kjaggers.com where there'll be more pictures and info and um, let me know what you think I hope that this um, clearly um, explains it um, come January I'm gonna need a new one and I'm not sure exactly um, what kind of I'll use but if I switch it up or whatever I use I will um, come back and show you another updated planner because you know for me I get bored easily with using the same thing over and over so um, a planner with just five or six months in it works well for me and um, and it's easy to file away that way um, it's also easy if you get one big one to file it away by the years by one you know 2013 2014 but for me um, I like to write the years on the outside after it's done and then I'll just file them in my office so um, I hope you enjoyed the video come back and check out more videos the office in a basket is like a lifesaver and I will get that up very soon talk to you guys later bye bye of planners that I have but the main one I'm going to be going over is this one but I will show you some other ones that I do like so keep watching and I'll show you what those look like the first thing I want to share with you guys is I have been through a lot of planners now I just grabbed some random ones I have actually many more I have my file facts out in the garage but I didn't want to go through digging through a lot of my boxes to get to them um, other planners but these were the ones that I could access easily I just wanted to kind of do a very quick highlight on the planners I've used throughout the years in addition to my Filofaxes I've used these um, daytime timers I think that's what they're called is that what they're called I don't remember I think they're the daytimer planners I have two I have the pink and the turquoise that is the one that I showed in my last video it's still all organized up um, but I switched different years I've used different things here's one from 2011 that I've kept um, you know throughout the years I keep all of my notebooks and all my planners here's 2012 that I've used these kind of planners work well for me too here's one from 2011 and 2012 too that I like I like the size of this planner this is a mead planner so you've got lots of room to write you got the times over here which I was talking um, in that I will show in my other video that I miss I miss this time right here but whatever it has different months it has places for notes and I do like this one um, 
these are just smaller versions of that. I do like these books too. These are small books that I've used throughout the years. Um, and they're great. They're easy to put in a purse. But I still like a little more room than that. There's more books that I've used. These are more like journal books. This is a journal book. I kept that butterfly. This is from 2008. This is a journal. And um, my grandfather died in 2008. My grandmother died. Um, so that journal has a lot of um, feelings in it. Here is another. This was a blog book that I used for some time. And you can just tell because it has a picture of me and Scott. Here's another book I've used. This one is dirty, but it's really... Hi, you guys. I am here today with a much-anticipated video. So I get asked a lot about my planners. I have a bunch of them. I'm going to show you a lot of different planners today. Um, just some different styles, but the one I've been using is the one that I made. And we're definitely going to go through this um, in detail. And this video is probably going to be a little bit longer than, you know, uh, some videos. But I do tend to make long videos. I don't mean to, but um, today I'm going to be going over that. Um, I'm going to kind of show you how it works for me. And then later I will kind of show you the office in a basket that kind of goes with this book. And that will probably be up um, in like a week. I'll get it up really soon. But... Um, in a way, I kind of call this like my smash book planner, but in a way it's not. Um, yeah, my other one was like a really smash book planner um, because I would, you know, take like pictures and movie stubs and put it in my planner. I still do that some, just not as much. So, um, you know, there's different things that work for different people. And, you know, I like planners in all different varieties. I like daytime planners. I like file faxes. I like homemade planners. Um, I like, you know, just the, like, plan ahead calendars. I like calendars. Um, and I use them all. Um, I have two project management books that I'm working on that I will do um, later um, a video on um, and show you how I handle those. Um, but... Mainly, this is to show you how I set up my planner, what things I use in it, um, how it is effective for me, and how it motivates me to stay busy and keep on task. And, yeah, I feel very fortunate that um, they work for me because, you know, I've been a planner girl for a long time. Um, I used them in elementary school, middle school, high school, college, my home life. And, you know, I've recorded all kinds of stuff. Some of my um, planners have been journals and planners. Some just planners. You know, it's been different things for different years. Um, and I'm excited to show you. So, let's first look at some different styles. Married Life Post. Sponsor information. And then more blog ideas. Back here under the YouTube... Pa oh, and there's House Party. House Party is a organization I'm with. I'll explain more about these tags in a minute. Is YouTube. So in YouTube, there's YouTube ideas and glamour gossip ideas because those are two different channels. So on back, I have more tabs. I have projects, 2004 plans, Scott and Jackson, a tab for pets, and a tab for miscellaneous stuff. So, when you open the book up, I have an envelope that I just glued in. Um, let me kind of zoom in for you. Um, I have an envelope that I just glued in. It holds random things. I had some mail I wasn't able to get. I added these cute owl stickers just because I love owls. I really do. I think they're adorable. Um, and I just like them. Um, I have this real sticky post-it note down here at the bottom. And a clip, because um, these come in handy. I use them all the time, so I just keep it right there until I need it somewhere else. So, I kind of keep the month past grouped. So, this would be all of August, right here. This whole part. And what I did, we're going to have to turn it in two different ways. Let me just kind of zoom in a little more. I cut this out of a bill organizer. I just taped it in with some of my um, 
smash book tape. So it really holds well. And I keep bills and receipts that I need to file in this area. I also keep a list of upcoming bills and some of the expenses that I, you know, actually spent that month. On the following page for the month, I've added these calendars. They are color-coded. So let me kind of explain the color coding um, for you. Um, all the birthdays and important days have the day in black with like a little blue highlight around it. Okay. So, here is the planner that I recently set up. Now, I haven't been using this long, and you're only going to see, you know, how I've got it set up in like one month and what I've already done to it. Um, I will have um, in part two the different products I use um, within the book, and I'll explain more of that in part two. But I just bought this red book. It's, you know, I think I found it at Walmart for like $15. I bought this sticker. It's not held up too well, but it's still on there. It's happily ever after. Um, I have this Martha Stewart binder holder. It's just a, an elastic strap that holds the book together. I, I put fall and winter right here, 2013, just to identify the book. But when I'm done with the book, I will write it on the side and file this book away. So generally, I like organizers set up like this to only be for about six months at a time. Um, I believe this one is five months. I started at one month late, and I want to kind of go through how I have it set up. So over here on the side tabs, I have the months. So I have August, September, October, November, and December. So that is the months right there. And I don't have the tabs too far out because, you know, I don't want them to get messed up. Sorry, focus. I don't want them to get messed up if, you know, I have to throw this in a bag or something. So, I didn't want them sticking out too far. And then on the top, I have more tabs. I have shopping. It's kind of hard to see because I don't have them all um, real high. So, there's shopping. There's household. Important information. Here is the blog and YouTube. Now, the blog and YouTube have corresponding tabs. So, in the blog area, I have a tab for movies. I keep movies that I've watched and want to review in this area. I have beauty items that I bought and want to review in this area. I have cooking items that I want to make right here, or recipe, a good book. Now, when I was selling cars, it was kind of hard to walk around with my purse um, all over the lot, so I ended up buying this at that time. It has handles. This is a day one. It zips, and I've used this many times over the years. It's got a pocket here and a zip here. All of these planners are wonderful planners, or I wouldn't have bought them. Um, but it just goes to show you, you can use whatever you like. Just find a system that you like so you stay consistent with it, which is one of the big tips that I have for everybody. you got to make time to plan. And um, I'll go more through that with my other uh, planner that I'm about to show you in just one second. But find a planner that you like, that you will use, um, and that you um, enjoy. My other one is upstairs, which is very similar to the one I'm using now, which is this one. And we're about to go look inside of it. So stay tuned and keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to explain my new planner to you, but I first want to look at my old one because um, this will explain what, how this one is set up and why I set it up this way. So I had this one, and I really wanted a book where I could, um, you know, have all my to-do list, my calendar, everything in one spot. So I got this book put together. I'm trying to find the calendar in here, or one of them anyway. Come on, calendar, where are you? Right there. So I added calendars to it. It wasn't color-coded. I basically used it kind of like a smash book. I added things. I journaled at the bottom. had my to-do list and things I needed to do um, listed at the top. Um, it was pretty messy. added different things to it. 
Um, you know, I used it, and I used it well. I, you know, it did help at the time, but it really wasn't that organized. You can see I added receipts, paint swatches. Um, I added Romeo's um, rabies tag. I had just had, you know, I just used this a lot. In the back, there was blog notes. And while I liked the style of planning, I just didn't like the disorganization within the book. So, 